And this storm and its full weather forecasts coming up later on in the show. And the government created a loan program a decade ago. The promise was work in public service and make 10 years of payments, and the federal government will take care of the rest. But federal data shows it isn't working. D.C.'s Raquel Martin shares one teacher story. When I made the decision to take out student loans, I didn't think I would still be paying on those at the age of 62. 42-year-old biology professor Sunshine Brossi says she went into teaching for two reasons, her love for education and a government promise to pay off her student debt after 10 years of public service. I grew up in poverty and I thought that teaching and education was a way to get out of poverty. But now she says her financial future is in jeopardy because the Department of Education isn't holding up their side of the deal. They've now rejected her application twice. It really just breaks my heart. I feel like they've just completely given me misinformation and misdirected me. You know, something really stinks. Randy Weingarten with the American Federation of Teachers is suing the Department of Education over the way they're handling the public service loan forgiveness program. It's the department that has given people the royal runaround. You can call one day, go up one set of information. You call another day, you get another set of information. The program is supposed to pay off the debt of anyone who makes 10 years of monthly payments while working in a public service field like nursing or teaching. But on Thursday, a federal audit revealed that over the last two years, 99% of all people who've applied for the program have been rejected. The Department of Education says they won't comment on litigation, but say they're working to improve the program. For now, Brosie says she feels betrayed. I chose to work as a public servant and to teach, and I think it's really unfortunate that this is even a conversation that we're having because it's devastating. In Washington, Raquel Martin. As of May this year, education accepted roughly 600 applications out of the 54,000 requests. The vast majority were denied, accusing borrowers of not applying for the program in the first place. Well, moving back to local.